Welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania and I make videos about fashion, luxury shopping, unboxings, and jewelry. If this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notifications down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Today I wanted to talk about my wish list for handbags for this 2024. So I have a list of five handbags I would really love to get this year and uh, surprisingly uh, every year gets shorter the list um, I don't know why maybe our style changes or I don't know maybe you change but I feel like over the years I've become more uh, not minimalist but more selective maybe of the things that I wish and I want to get and so you will be able to see from this list that uh, the colors are very repetitive and it is very classic almost everything um, and so yeah the first item on my list that I've been wanting to get I'm, and I'm hoping to get this year it's a Birkin now for me um i have not started the birkin game but i've been for a while now um trying at my hermes store um i have put on a wish list but i was very on the sizes on the size that i wanted to get so i was very undecided between a 25 and a 30 and um i know it all depends on what you want to use the bag for and so after so many months of researching and trying on the bag and seeing different styles I, I decided that I want to get a Birkin 30 um, noir or black um, Togo leather and this is because first black goes with everything and it's I can be very um, relaxed about it no color transfer problem and second because I wanted to feel like the feeling of the Birkin bag you know what I mean I went to try it on uh, a few Birkin 30s and Birkin th uh, 25 and even though the, the Birkin 25, I would love to, I first want to get the Birkin 30 because it's a bag I want to have for my everyday. Um, I also would like to travel with that bag. And so I think it will be perfect. And so if I'm not offered this bag this year, maybe if I go to Paris, I might plan to get it if I'm lucky, I don't know. Uh, but I have my peace of mind that I'm finally uh, clear on what I, what I want and the size I want, which I think it's a huge decision. Um, if you want a, a Birkin bag, you know. Of course, in the future, I wanna get other colors, other sizes, but I'm so clear that I want to start with the Birkin 30. Second in my list is a Kelly 25 Cellier color gold. Um, I love the color gold for Hermes. I think it's very elegant. It's a rich color, it's timeless. And so um, I always uh, wanted to get a bag with this color, an Hermes Mac bag with this color. And so since the Kelly has a strap um, and it can be used for more casual events, I thought that the gold color with gold hardware will look perfect and would be a great addition to my wardrobe. And yeah i think this is my number one uh go-to for the kelly's as well as the birkins of course i would love to get more in the future but
but this is my number two and my list for this 2024. Number three, uh, it will be a Chanel classic flap, color white in a small size. And I'm, I've been very reluctant to get a white bag. I've never owned a white bag before. I was offered this bag in the store a few months ago. And even though my essay pushed pushed it to me so much i was reluctant because of the color um but now i feel like i i have a plan i plan to wear the bag with uh neutral colors be very careful and i would love to get it because it's a perfect addition uh for my night out outfits um and especially here in miami you have so many summer outfits that i've been feeling like oh, okay this will be a great opportunity for me to have a chanel classic flap and wear this with this outfit in my head so many times that i'm like okay this year i'm finally going to get it and i think that for chanel classics flaps for black white and beige uh, you can never go wrong. They're super classy colors. Uh, they never go out of style. And so, yes. Next in my list, it's a Bottega Veneta Jody bag. I was also super undecisive about the size for this bag since uh, I know you have the mini size, then you have the small size then you have the new size which is the teen size and then i think you have a larger size or something like that so well i went to the store and i tried on all of the sizes and after carefully considering all of my options i realized the best option for me is the teen size and this is a bag i plan to wear for my every day and it's a relaxed uh fun bag carefree uh, it has not structure and that's something I like and yeah I love the suede uh, gray color I don't remember the name and maybe brown so I don't know I'm in between those two colors uh, but we will see and last but not least it will be the Louis Vuitton side trunk and the small size so ever since this bag came out uh, I have my eye on it and with new bags I don't like to go and get them right away uh, I like to make a very uh, smart decision think about it and so that's how it was with this bag I I've used so much my Louis Vuitton pouch, the small for the beach, uh, when, when I don't want to carry much stuff or where when I don't even know what I want to wear, I just grab that bag and it's super useful. I just love it. Uh, and so this one, it's a little bit more fun, a little bit more rich, more uh, girly. Um, it's modern and so I would love to get it for like special occasions or for I don't know summertime the beach and those special moments where you want a smaller bag but still something cool and I love 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 the style of the trunk uh, I just I'm in love and so yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love for you to consider to subscribe to my channel. It will help me so much. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer anything. See you guys in the next video. Bye.